From devices that predicted eclipses to weapons that could burn on water, some ancient inventions don't just confuse scientists, they leave them speechless. These aren't myths or fairy tales, they're real objects built thousands of years ago using methods we still can't fully explain. Ready to question everything you thought you knew about history? Let's begin with a material that's stronger than time itself. Roman concrete, modern concrete cracks within decades. But Roman concrete, still standing after 2,000 years. Engineers were stunned to find out that Roman builders mixed volcanic ash with lime. And here's the twist. The concrete heals itself when damaged. Water gets into cracks, reacts with the lime clasts, and seals the damage from the inside out. Imagine a building that fixes itself while you sleep. This wasn't just luck, it was brilliant chemistry mastered centuries before we even understood it. Roman harbors, aqueducts, and temples built with this technique still exist today, mocking modern construction in silence. Scientists are now trying to recreate the formula, hoping to use it for sustainable buildings. But even with modern labs, we're still catching up. The Romans cracked a code we forgot, and now they're teaching us all over again. If you thought that was impressive, wait until you see what ancient engineers might have done with a humble clay jar. Baghdad battery found near Baghdad in the 1930s, this clay pot didn't look like much. But inside it was a copper tube and an iron rod, exactly what you'd need to make a battery. Fill it with vinegar or lemon juice and it produces a small electric charge. That might sound basic, but this artifact is over 2,000 years old. It predates the discovery of electricity by centuries. So what were they doing with it? Some believe it was used for electroplating coating one metal with another, others think it might have served spiritual or ritual purposes. The most fascinating part? It works. Modern experiments confirm the design could generate power, but how did they figure it out? There's no written record, no explanation, just this mysterious object with a surprising spark. It's one thing to light a bulb, it's another to light up a mystery that science still can't fully solve. Now let's move from electricity to gears, thousands of years ahead of their time. Antikythera Mechanism In 1901, divers off the coast of Greece found a corroded metal lump in a shipwreck. Inside it was a device so complex it shocked the world. The Antikythera Mechanism is made of over 30 bronze gears, and it could predict eclipses, moon phases, and planetary movements. Built over 2,000 years ago, it's often called the world's first computer. That's not an exaggeration, it was portable, programmable, and astronomically accurate. Scientists used x-rays to study its insides and still can't believe how precise it is. Nothing like it appeared again for more than a thousand years. No manuals, no other copies, just this one machine, lost at sea, and almost forgotten. Who built it? How did they calculate celestial events so accurately? And why don't we see more like it from that era? It's a machine out of place and time showing us just how advanced the ancient world might have been. But some mysteries aren't buried underwater. They're written in the sky. Ancient Indian Vimana, ancient Sanskrit texts describe flying machines called Vimanas. Not just poetic descriptions of birds or clouds, but actual crafts with engines, weapon systems, and flight manuals. Some texts even mention vertical takeoff, advanced metals, and interplanetary travel. These records are over 2,000 years old. Were they myths, metaphors, or something else? Scholars debate it to this day. The descriptions are oddly specific, too specific to ignore and they appear in multiple ancient texts. There's no physical evidence of Vimanas, but the stories refuse to fade. Some believe these were metaphors for spiritual journeys, while others think they're records of lost technology. Either way, the level of detail is jaw-dropping. Were ancient people imagining the future or documenting something they actually witnessed? The lines blur in the pages of ancient India's texts, and now from flying machines to ancient fire that could burn straight through the sea. Greek fire. Greek fire was a weapon so terrifying that it changed the course of naval warfare. Used by the Byzantine Empire, it could burn even on water. That alone breaks all the rules of fire. Soldiers hurled it from ships through pressurized tubes or clay grenades, and once it caught fire, there was no putting it out. Buckets of water made it worse. The exact formula is still a mystery. Historians guess it included substances like resin, oil, and sulfur, but no one has recreated it with full accuracy. The recipe was guarded like a royal treasure and lost with the fall of the empire. Today's chemists are still trying to figure out how it worked. Some say it was the ancient world's version of napalm, others call it a myth. But the results were real. Enemies fled in fear and ships were turned into fireballs. Greek fire was as deadly as it was unexplainable. Next up, a centuries-old map that somehow shows Antarctica before it was officially discovered. Piri Reis Map in 1513, an Ottoman admiral named Piri Reis 
drew a map that has baffled scientists for years. The map shows parts of Europe, Africa, and South America with surprising accuracy. But the real shocker is that it also seems to show the coastline of Antarctica. Not just any coastline either, but Antarctica without ice. Here's the problem, Antarctica wasn't officially discovered until 1820 and its ice-covered shape wasn't mapped until the 20th century. Yet this 500-year-old map gets it right. How? Some believe Piri Reis had access to ancient source maps created by lost civilizations, others suggest it's a coincidence. But the level of detail is hard to ignore. Mountains, rivers, and even the curvature of the land. All were drawn long before the technology to survey those regions existed. If true, it raises one serious question. Who mapped Antarctica before anyone even knew it was there? And speaking of precision, the next mystery looks like it was cut by lasers. Ancient drill holes. All over the world, there are stones carved with such precision they defy explanation. Some have holes drilled so cleanly and deeply into solid granite that modern machines would struggle to match them. These aren't recent discoveries either, many date back thousands of years. In Egypt, Peru, and other ancient sites, perfectly cylindrical cores and spiral grooves suggest the use of advanced tools. But how did people in ancient times manage this? Copper tools and stone hammers wouldn't make a dent in granite with such accuracy. Some researchers believe they used rotary drilling with abrasives. Others think they had access to lost techniques or tools we no longer understand. What's undeniable is that these holes are too smooth, too deep, and too perfect to explain with traditional methods. Something's missing from the story. And that missing piece might change everything we know about ancient technology. If you think these mysteries are limited to stone, wait until you see the next one from the sky. The Nazca Lines in the deserts of Peru lie hundreds of massive geoglyphs etched into the earth. These are the Nazca Lines, created over 1,500 years ago. From the ground, they look like shallow trenches, but from the sky, they form huge shapes. Birds, monkeys, spiders, and geometric patterns. Some span over 1,000 feet across. The big question is how. The people who made them didn't have drones or planes. So how did they know what the figures would look like from above? Some believe the lines were part of religious ceremonies or astronomical calendars. Others suggest they were created to be seen by sky gods or even ancient pilots. The mystery only deepens when you realize how well the lines have survived. No fences, no guards, yet they've lasted centuries. Was it clever engineering or something more? Either way, the Nazca lines remain one of the world's most impressive and unexplained artworks. Now we move from sky patterns to a device that could sense earthquakes before they hit. Chinese Seismoscope in 132 AD, Chinese inventor Zhang Heng created a bronze vessel with dragon heads and toads arranged in a circle. This wasn't a decorative sculpture. It was the world's first known seismoscope, and it could detect earthquakes from hundreds of miles away. When seismic activity occurred, a mechanism inside would trigger a small ball to fall from a dragon's mouth into a toad's bowl, indicating the direction of the quake. For centuries, people dismissed it as a legend. But modern tests have shown it actually worked. The technology behind it is still being studied, and the original design has never been fully replicated. It's hard to believe that over 1,800 years ago, someone built a device so accurate that it could do what even early modern tools couldn't. Jing Hung's invention is a testament to ancient ingenuity, and it proves that high-tech ideas don't always need high-tech materials, but nothing compares to this final marvel of stonework. The Sacsayhuaman Walls Near the ancient city of Cusco in Peru stands a structure that has baffled engineers for generations. The walls of Sacsayhuaman are built from massive stone blocks, some weighing over 100 tons. But it's not the size that shocks people, it's the fit. These stones are cut so precisely that you can't even slip a sheet of paper between them. No mortar, no filler, just perfect interlocking shapes. The walls have survived earthquakes, storms, and centuries of wear. How did the builders shape and transport these massive stones with no modern tools? Some believe they use advanced techniques that have since been lost. Others go further, suggesting help from unknown sources. Whatever the truth is, the Sacsayhuaman walls continue to stand strong. Not as ruins, but as evidence that ancient builders knew something we don't. Something powerful, something precise, and something still hidden in the stones. So. Which ancient invention surprised you the most? Was it the self-healing concrete, the ancient computer, or the map that shows a continent centuries too early? These aren't just old objects, they're windows into minds that saw the world in ways we still can't explain. If you're as fascinated by these mysteries as we are, hit that like button, subscribe, and tell us which one blew your mind in the comments.